even in a part of the world known for its sky-high tensions. Violence is reaching a level not seen in years. Israel now calling up 5,000 reservists as the military responds to rocket fire from Gaza with airstrikes. Air raid sirens have been going off for hours in the Israeli city of Ashkelon. Our correspondent Hannah Skold is one of the people there running. We'll hear from her in a moment. Israeli emergency services say two people have been killed in Ashkelon, more than 30 others injured by rocket fire and by stone throwing. The Palestinian health ministry says Israeli strikes have killed 26 people in Gaza, including several children. Israel said it hit military targets and killed militants. This marks a dramatic uptick of the tensions that we have been seeing play out on the streets of Jerusalem over the past several days. Well, from around the world, please to defuse the situation before it's too late. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken calling for all sides to de-escalate, although he says Israel has the right to defend itself against rocket attacks. Similar sentiments from the European Union. A spokesman says the violence must stop immediately. He says preventing further civilian casualties must be a priority. Here in the Middle East, Jordan's King Abdullah called for a, quote, immediate halt to, quote, Israel's violations in Jerusalem. CNN's Hannah Stoll had to scramble for cover two days in a row now as those sirens go off. She joins us from the Israeli city of Ashkelon. And just describe exactly where you are at present and why. Hadas. So, Becky, I am in the bomb shelter of a building that was actually struck earlier today directly by a rocket. We have been here all day essentially unable to leave this area because all day long we've been hearing air raid sirens and rockets as well as explosions, possibly interceptions by the Iron Dome. I'm going to try to walk you out to the front of this building so you can see the damage that was caused by one of the rockets. I should warn you, if we hear an air raid siren, uh, which we may any minute now, we will have to come running back in. Uh, but when there is a moment of calm between the air raid sirens, as you can see, people come outside to get some fresh air. Uh, we'll have our cameraman pan up, pan up so you can just see uh, the damage that this rocket caused this building. This happened in the early hours of this morning here in Ashkelon. There has been just a barrage of rockets. The Israeli military say there have been hundreds, at least 300 and likely uh, more that have been fired from Gaza into Israel. They say that uh, emergency services here say that two people in Ashkelon have been killed. Uh, uh, others have been injured, including from this building here. One of them seriously injured as you noted the Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 26 people have been killed in strikes in Gaza uh, we have been hearing uh, in, sorry including nine children now Israel says it is investigating uh, the deaths of civilians in Gaza saying that they take it very seriously they are also noting that uh, it is uh, that um, amongst the rockets that have been fired from Gaza uh, at least a third of them are falling short they say that is an unusually high number uh, for Gaza uh, but the IDF says that they are striking uh, Gaza the militants we've been hearing planes buzzing overhead we just now hear another airplane flying pretty close we've been hearing some booms I'm not sure if we'll even be able to to see that but we can hear the airplanes buzzing they've been doing this quite some time and then typically what happens is a few minutes later we'll get an air raid siren and then rockets fired towards this city towards Ashkelon I've been speaking to the residents of this building and they say that while rockets being fired in southern Israel is nothing new the amount that they have seen here we go we've got an air raid siren again Becky we're gonna go back into the safety of the bomb shelter like I told you what we've been hearing is those airplanes flying buzzing ahead of us we'll hear some sort of strikes and then we might lose you in the bomb shelter because of the uh, because of the signal but this is what's been happening all day long people people are gonna you're gonna see the residents coming in alongside me here as well this is the bomb shelter of a residential building they've been very kind to uh, host us here for most of the day uh, but this is what we've been hearing all day long we'll hear airplanes buzzing ahead and then we'll hear some some sort of explosions some sort of booms and then a few minutes later the air raid sirens rockets we just heard one explosion mm -hmm. that could have been an Iron Dome interception Ooh, that was a that was a big one <laughs> we could I could feel that vibrating through the air just mm -hmm. now there is another one that's a big one as well uh, I this is a very tense four right now in a row this is all happening right now uh, yeah as you can see the residents here they say this is and then you that is another very close one another very close one right above us or feels as though it's very right above us
that is at least six or seven, uh, I don't know if there are explosions or interceptions by the Iron Dome that have been happening. Those have felt very, very close, Becky, honestly closer than a lot of the other uh, explosions that we have been hearing today. But this mm. is what it's been like here all day long. Israel says that it is uh, striking uh, Gaza militants in the Gaza Strip. Uh, they say they're calling up 5,000 reservists to try and strengthen their positions. And as of right now, Becky, it just does not seem as though this is quieting anytime soon. Mm. Um, and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu describing this as the uh, fight uh, for uh, Jerusalem and that this could go on uh, for some time. I I I'm just interested because there are a number of children uh, beside you, rather than uh, doing the politics of this, which we will go into at length uh, in the next couple of hours. I just want you to describe the atmosphere where you are. There are youngsters, kids around you. Just, just describe whether this feels familiar, all too familiar uh, for those children and families around you. What are they telling you? Uh, that's, that's a dog barking. Uh, yeah, it is, as you can tell, this is a residential building. People live here. This is part of, this is this is their daily lives here. And I spoke to some of the residents of this building here. They were woken up with that direct rocket attack on this building in the early hours of this morning, as I noted, it injured several people, including one critically. And they have been spending most of the day and most of the last few hours in this bomb shelter. Sometimes they go in and out. Uh, but these children are just spending their day here. They're on their phones. They're on their computers. They're mostly following uh, the rockets, the sirens. There's an app you can download that tells you when there is going to be, uh, when, a, when a red alert siren goes off, they're following it, they're following where the strikes are. And unfortunately for, the, for those who live in this area, both in Gaza and in southern Israel, although this is a part of the daily life rockets and airstrikes, these do happen uh, occasionally over the years. This level of intensity, I spoke to the residents here, this is an unusual level. They have not experienced something like this. They, especially here in Ashkelon, it's a little bit further north than what they are used to, or than, than what, than where we typically see many of these rockets firing. I think we are hearing another airplane flying ahead of us, so that we might hear this sort of cycle go through again. Airplanes, we might hear some strikes, and then we might hear the air raid sirens again going off, which means more rockets fired this way. But for these children, this is just what their day is like today. School has obviously been canceled for them. Most people are staying off the roads, although we do occasionally see people uh, coming through, and when we do hear the air raid sirens, there's been a couple times where people have to leave their cars on the street, come running into whatever building that they find and they'll just come in here a few hours ago uh, a, cr a couple came in here and I heard one of them say did you even turn off the car and the woman said no she didn't have time to she just jumped out of the car and came in here very very tense moment here Becky we just heard uh, one yeah. boom not sure if it was an airstrike or something else but people here just hunkering down in these shelters Haras we are as you and I speak uh, you're in the bunker there in Ashkelon we've got a shot um, over Gaza City, um, and this has been panning this shot. We have uh, billowing back black smoke from uh, something, um, and one is, can only assume that the booms you heard are evidenced by this smoke, and there were four plumes of smoke on the shot that we saw before this, and now uh, two uh, dense plumes of smoke uh, rising um, above the skyline as we see it, of uh, Gaza City, but it is unclear uh, why, uh, from where uh, that smoke um, is emitting. Um, you are in this bunker, Hamas, um, and, and you've been talking about the atmosphere there and, and the effect on these families. Hamas has issued a statement saying, and I quote here, as long as the Israeli occupation continues, to perpetuate crimes and violations against the Palestinian people, the Palestinian resistance groups, including Hamas, will respond and defend Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa Mosque, and the Gaza Strip. And the statement goes on, we have the right to respond to the Israeli offensive and protect the interests of our people as long as the Israeli occupation continu continues this escalation.